WTFNN. Headline news update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Wednesday morning, 30 minutes into the trading day. We got markets starting off to the downside right now. S&P futures negative by seven points, trading at 3,084. Got the Dow Jones off by 35 points, trading 27,655. Dow had been off about 100 at one point. NASDAQ negative by 24, trading at 8,461. Gold, gold contract catching a bid after quite a tough run to the downside on gold. Gold contract up ten dollars at fourteen sixty four. Silver up seventeen cents at sixteen eighty six. Notes and bonds getting a little bit of higher price and lower yield. We have the chairman of the Federal Reserve speaking at eleven o'clock. His remarks already becoming public. The ten year up eleven ticks one twenty eight twenty eight. The thirty year up twenty ticks at one fifty seven twenty. And the dollar index basically flat up barely seventeen ticks at ninety eight three twenty five. We'll start things off. We'll start it with the indices jumping over the charts. We'll start. It off with the Dow. Currently trading December futures 27,612. You back things up to the overnight low 27,525. So approaching 100 points off that low in the Dow futures. NASDAQ 100 trading at 82.53 right now. Spike to a high right after the opening bell of 82.62. The overnight low of 82.20. So about 35 points from that level. S&P 500 trading at 3,084 right now. The lows made just before 5 a.m. Eastern time of 3,075, so about 10 points above that level. There's your crude oil contract. Quite a bid. Crude is catching just in the last hour, going from 56.34, now trading at 57.18. We got the EIA inventories, I believe, 10.30 today. We'll have to check it out. Monday was a holiday. Sometimes those EIA numbers get pushed back a day because of that. Gold contract, there's your acceleration a bit higher. Gold trading at 14.63. The low yesterday, 14.46. Quite a number in gold. And the euro US dollar trading at 110.14. Lots going on today across the markets. Big day for maybe bonds, maybe not. Powell says policy appropriate amid noteworthy risks outlet. Powell said in the current stance, a monetary policy is likely to be sufficient provided the economy stays on track, but warned that noteworthy risks remain to the record U.S. expansion. Powell speaking at 11 o'clock. We got a impeachment hearings beginning at 10 o'clock. Lots going on, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.